Maagot? Sige. So here we're talking about the winning principle. If we want to win in IMG, doing IMG, what are the things na kailangan alam natin or handa tayo? Una daw po is, when we talk about the winning principle, alam mo daw ba what it, what it takes or leads your success? Anong mga bagay na dapat mong gawin for you to be successful? So importante daw po yan. Kailangan may passion ka. Kasi pag wala kang passion, isang rejections, um, isang ang dami-dami mo lang na pendings, ang daming denial sa submission, titigil ka na. So you need to have a passion for you to become successful. If you have a uh, ano, if you have passion, you will work towards your goal. Focus ka daw sa goal mo. You become persistent. So mapapagod, magpapahinga, pero magpupursig ka. And you'll have ideas. Ah, pa, paano ba yung gagawin ko para mas mag-generate pa? You become good in what are whatever things na kailangan mong gawin. You will push yourself at ipupush mo rin yung team mo. And you'll find yourself na because of your passion, you are serving other people. So ganyan daw po yung importante if you want to be successful. So what is a winning mindset? A winning mindset daw, Happiness is helping a friend become financially independent. So kailangan daw na maging reminder to lahat sa atin na nag-join ka kasi naniniwala ka na with IMG, mabibuild mo yung financial foundation mo. But you don't want to do it alone. Ayaw mo na ikaw lang. Gusto mo maituro at tumulong din sa iba. Kaya lang po, reminder sa bawat isa sa atin, no? for, for all of us, be it bago, leaders, lahat tayo, Always ask yourself, do you have daily activities? Daily activities, magsisimula po yan sa share list, magsisimula sa follow-up, magsisimula sa mga guests na dadali mo sa CMO, sa mga guests na umaten na sa CMO. Kasi kung may daily activities ka, you will have results. The moment na naging stagnant ka, balikan nyo yung daily activities. So dito naman po, kagandahan lang sa business, you can always do it. Minsan may mga araw na madalang, matumal, kumbaga sa negosyo, but balikan mo lang yung daily activities mo, i-check mo yung results mo. Uma-attend ka ba ng meeting? Always remember, hindi kayo magsusurvive in any business, especially in IMG business, kung wala kang meeting mentality. Unang-una po, leader's call. So sana po, we, we really strive our best na nasa leader's call tayo sa umaga kung hindi man yung replay, sige. But leaders, you have to be in the morning. Importante daw yung para yung jaryo. Ang jaryo binabasa sa umaga, hindi sa tanghali, hindi sa gabi kasi history na siya. So ganun din daw po in our meetings. We have to try our best na maka-attend tayo dyan. Let's duplicate new builders. We train, we develop. Our prospecting systematized, we follow the system, and our business mindset. So the success principle daw po is una, may strong desire ba tayo? Kahit ilagay nyo po sa strong tatlong why, ano yung three reasons why you want to be successful in IMG? Ako lagi, yung, panga, yung dalawa kong anak for our retirement, and then makatulong ka sa iba. So babalik ka uli doon. Hanggat hindi ko pa napagtatapos yung mga anak ko, kailangan gawin ko pa si IMG. Hanggat hindi pa komportable sa retirement, kagawin nyo pa rin si IMG. Alam nyo ba, kailan nyo masasabi na komportable na retirement nyo? Pag may dalawang R na kayo, return of your investment and replacement of income. Pag walang bumalik, kasi wala kang in-invest. Kailangan mag-invest ka para may bumalik. Income replacement. So you have to create a certain amount of income at yun yung magiging gauge mo na pwede ka na mag -retar. Hanggat hindi mo pa na-achieve yan, you really have to believe in your destiny. What are your goals? Strong reason to fight for. Yung good mission po natin. Kailangan nakasulat ang goal. So ngayon, July Uh, August na tayo, 2021. Ano na ba na yung mga goal mo ng 2021 ang na-achieve mo? Ability to learn and to follow. So, importante daw po siya. You have the compassion for other people, yung support, and then you just have to stay positive all the time. So, kailangan lang kahit na feeling mo um, nalulungkot ka na, feeling mo na nadidepress ka na, always remember depression comes in when you don't delight on the simple things in life. So, kapag feeling mo 
nalulungkot ka, tignan mo lang even the small things in your life. Appreciate it, be grateful, delight on those things para nun malabanan mo yung depression. Change the way you think, you have to change your habit so that you can change your life. So dito po, you just have to do it. When you when your team does not move, wala silang wala silang report, wala silang activities. You just have to do it. Keep moving yourself. If your team does not recruit August 9 na wala pa silang nai-invite ko nyari, walang production, you just have to do it lang po. If your team does not sell, walang mga sales of Kaiser or Moe's 18, ikaw dapat meron ka. Your team does not go to meeting, ikaw present ka. Lagi niyong tatandaan, if you're the leader, yung isang araw na absent ka, sa team member mo, dalawang araw yan na absent. So kaya kailangan, you have to set a good example for them. If your team daw po sa mga conventions, kailangan nandun tayo lahat. And tayo po is nasa business of caring for people. You just have to care for them kahit na wala kang ina-expect in return from them. So, bawasan mo yung expectations kasi it will affect the experience. So, kailangan lang daw po, we just have to keep on doing it. Wag lang tayong mapapagod. Ano daw po ang pinagkaiba ng aggressive ng passive at saka assertive? Doon daw muna tayo sa aggressive. Ang aggressive daw is talagang sobra kang pushy, uh, medyo strong yung words mo, yung um, yung uh, tone ng voice mo. So that's that's aggressiveness. Kailan ka naman daw nagiging passive? Yung passive naman is parang nagpapaubaya ka na lang lagi. So yun naman daw yung pagiging passive. So ano daw po ang tamang timbla? Kailangan assertive ka. Alam mo na Aggressive is importante na kailangan ikaw, you know what are your goals. You have to be aggressive on those. You have to be assertive kung paano mo naman i-approach. Hindi mo sobrang ipupush yung client or yung in-invite mo, pero somehow, in a subtle way, medyo malumanay, assertive ka lang na, o oh, sige, kailan ba siya pwede? Kailan mo ba siya madadala sa Zoom? So, kailan yung appointment mo with that person? Kailan mo siya ipa-follow up? So, lagi nyo po tatandaan, kailan ka dapat aggressive, kailan ka dapat assertive, at kailan ka dapat passive. If, let's say, member mo na siya. Ngayon, kung member mo siya na parang feeling mo naman, nagkakaroon kayo ng frictions, or parang medyo kailangan ng konting palamig, there are times that you have to Use the passive skill. So medyo kalma ng konti. So what do you make? Yan daw ang tanong sa bawat isa sa atin. Are we making a living? A living po enough to sustain the needs of our family. Second, are you making good money? Good money na pwede nyo na bang i-consider na katumbas na siya ng sweldo mo buwan-buwan? Or are you making a fortune? Fortune na pwedeng mas malaki pa sa monthly salary mo na pwede na to na ma-sustain ka na masasabi mong income replacement na. Or are you making a difference? So ilan na ba yung na-promote natin na marketing director? Ilan na ba yung nabago nating buhay na from a nobody, they start to become somebody? From a nobody, they start to have their own goals at na-achieve nila yung goals nila. And are we making history? So at what level will you stop or slow down? So yan daw yung tanong sa akin. Whether you're making a living, a good money, a fortune, or difference sa buhay ng bawat isa sa nakakasal, kakausap mo, kailan ka daw titigil or dapat ka bang mag-slow down? So kayo lang daw po ang makakasagot niyan. Kasi alam daw po natin na most of the time, people, hindi sila tatagal. In our business, yung iba dyan, nakausap mo after three days, wala na. Scene mode na lang lagi, di ba? Yung iba naman, after 30 days, hindi mo na sila mahagilap. At wala pang one year, pwedeng hindi na sila nagpaparamdam sa'yo. So kailangan daw po tayo yung level of discipline natin. In the next two years, you have to work, work, work. In the next five years, you have to build a good business. Kapag nalagpasan mo ang two years, yan yung survival. So kailangan daw from your two years onward, mapalaki mo yung team. Yun yung goal natin na sinasabi sa libro, on the fifth year, 
you become a system builder. Pero ito dati pa to, baka ngayon kaya natin in six months, in one year. Basta we have been promoted with a senior marketing director. You're taking care of your team. Strong yung base shop nyo po. Diba? You start to build. And then uma-attend. You develop the winning habits. Pwedeng hindi na po five years. Baka pwedeng in less than a year nagsisimula na tayo or talaga namang ina-encourage tayo to become a system builder. You just have to stay on track to your dreams. So kaya kailangan na paniwalaan mo sa sarili mo na kaya mo. You need to have the mental discipline. Lahat po tayo may kanya-kanyang problema. Wala naman pong exempted dyan. Lahat tayo, uh, we agree and we feel the same thing. Doon po tayo sa same boat na yan. Kaya lang, kailangan daw natin ng mental toughness. Kailangan yung confidence, yung courage natin, yung composure. Meron tayo niyan. So, lagi daw po natin tatandaan, ano ba yung dapat na meron ka? You just have to focus Be flexible. There are times yung goal mo, medyo madidelay ka, may kulang, just adjust. Yun yung sinasabing be flexible and make sure motivated ka pa rin. Kahit na sabi mo ang tagal na, hindi pa na-approve, ang daming rejection, still be flexible and be motivated. The emotional discipline daw po is importante. Balikan nyo yung reasons. Top 3, top 10, importante yon. Yun yung una mong paghuhugutan ng lakas. Then after that, you need to trust yourself, trust your trainer, and trust your team. Importante daw na may preparation tayo. Learning the system, doing and running the system. Our belief attitude. Yung belief attitude po natin for our mission, sa ginagawa po natin. So mahalagang mahalaga po na meron tayong right attitude, our right vision, right action, and we just have to keep on doing it Simula uli, attitude, vision, paulit-ulit lang siya. Yun daw po yung dapat natin gawin na we are a student of our system. Kung sa tingin nyo po na medyo nababagalan tayo or parang feeling nyo nakukulangan tayo with our activities, balikan nyo lang po ang wealth creation system. Lagi nating sinasabi, if it's a weekend, Monday, at least mag-review ka. Mag-review ka dun sa system natin. Always be coachable. Importante na we do prospecting always para po nun hindi kayo na uubusan ng raw materials for our business. You just have to be patient, persistent, and passionate sa ginagawa po natin in our business. Mahalagang mahalaga po yan. So the right vision and mission. So kailangan big dreams. Yung bang big dreams na kung saan ma-excite kayo na ay gusto ko mag-MD, mag-ASMD, or mag-green jacket, or gusto natin ng goal ng retirement income natin, magkano ba yun per month? Magkano ba yung gusto mo na monthly income na i-replace once na ikaw nag na. So, importanteng importante. Kailangan daw yung laki ng pangarap mo, mas malaki dapat po ang pagmamahal kasi yun yung magputulak sa'yo para i-achieve yung goal or yung pangarap mo. Mas malaki yung pagmamahal sa pamilya kung sila yung dahilan ng mga goals mo. Mas malaki daw yung mga sacrifices na yon para nun hindi po tayo titigil. Mapapagod, yes. Minsan manghihina, yes. Human nature po yun. Pero tuloy-tuloy pa lang, tuloy-tuloy pa rin po tayo. And of course, you need to have the right action. Always remember, hindi po tayo agent lang. But we are crusaders. You have to believe in what we do. Yan daw po yung ginagawa natin na talagang dito ang product natin, it's not the Kaiser, not the most 18 lang. But rather, yung maibigay natin, yung maibigay natin sa ibang tao, yung pong opportunity to have the peace of mind. Na tipong pag umuwi sila ng Pilipinas, magre-retire silang komportable, magre-retire sila na peaceful sila, na hindi sila mag-aalala. Paano pa nagkasakit? Paano pag kailangan ko ng gantong maintenance? So, you have to do it right from the beginning para non all throughout, you set the right thing po for your plans and goals. So, remember daw po, no? right attitude, You have to believe. You need to have the right vision and goal. Bakit mo gagawin? Para kanino? And of course, your right actions. So be in the right time, the right motivation. Nandito daw po yan kay IMG. So if you just have all these things, 
I guess ito po yung magiging ingredients natin. August po, meron pa tayong September, October, November, December. So ilang ano pa to, ilang months pa ahead of us. It's never too late ole na mangarap ka, ilagay mo, iset mo yung goals mo and mag-focus ka lang uli doon. Kasi dito po ang sinasabi sa atin sa winning edge, no? una you need to create a strong reason to do business. Pag wala kang mabigat na dahilan, malalim na dahilan, makukulangan ka ng motivation. Para noon yun yung magpo-fuel sa'yo inside you. Gusto mo na mapagawa yung bahay. Kunyari, gusto mo na magkaroon ng retirement money yung parents mo or let's say ikaw mismo yung retirement fund mo. So these are big reasons po para noon to fuel us up. If malaki yung reasons mo, malaki din yung goal mo. Kasi malaki yung pagmamahal mo dun sa mga taong kasama dun sa goals. So isulat nyo po siya para nun mababalikan nyo siya. And you have to put a deadline. Diba lagi nga sabi ni, ano, ni Mom Luz, uh, ang turo lagi nila Sir Bench, ano daw? May deadline, may digit yung mga dreams natin. Hindi pwedeng dreams lang ng dreams tapos hindi nyo nilalagyan ng deadline, wala ding digit. So importante po yan that we check, we monitor para gagawin mo every day na mo monitor siya. You reward yourself. Pag meron kang nahihit sa goal, let's say isa sa goal mo ah makapag-save tayo ng this amount of money and you're near to that. So pwede mong i-reward din yung sarili mo. Just stay positive and stay disciplined. Lagi nyo pong tatandaan, ang kaaway natin, ang pinakamahirap nating kaaway, sarili naman natin eh. Sarili natin yung makakaramdam ng katamaran, sarili natin yung makakaramdam na minsan feeling mo demotivated ka, minsan feeling mo na nadidepress ka na, minsan parang feeling mo lahat hindi nag a -align. Pero ikaw lang din sa sarili mo ang makakatulong para mapaglabanan lahat ng yon So i-focus nyo lang po, balikan nyo uli yung reasons, yung goals, yung why natin. Always leading in front. As a leaders po tayo, dito sinasabi, hindi pwedeng tinutulak natin yung team natin, do the business, pero tayo hindi natin ginagawa. No excuses. We have to be leading in front. Mahalaga, mahalaga. When you stay positive in mind daw po, kahit na sabi nyo may rejections kayo, meron pang mga failures, still you keep a positive attitude. At importanteng importante, you always love what you do. Kasi yan daw po yung ano eh, yan daw po yung winning attitude natin na kung saan pag mahal mo yung ginagawa mo, kahit nahihirapan ka, na-enjoy mo siya. May stress, yes, but you find it as a good stress. And you become committed. So, ini-eliminate natin yung mind kasi teamwork tayo, ba? Diba? Yes, somehow we compete. We challenge one another na dapat ma-achieve natin yung mga goals. We take risks sometimes. Ano po yan? Tinuturo din po sa atin yan. Your priorities would always be God, your family, and IMG. Importante na maging leader yung bawat isa sa atin. And we are leading in front. So, these are the ways though po for us to have the winning attitude. So, a reminder for us this Monday na kahit na merong mga challenges ang bawat isa, ang importante, ano yung goal? Ano yung nagmamotivate sa'yo? What drives you to achieve your goal? Yun daw po ang mahalaga at dun daw po tayo mag-focus.